Some of the families evacuated from Afghanistan will eventually end up here in the Bay Area. Today, Congressman Mark DeSalne visited an Afghan community center in Concord to prepare to welcome those families. KTVU's Ann Rubin explains that they're trying to gather donations, create care packages, and even help with housing. When she sees what's happening now, Mari Masumi can't help but remember. In 1982, her own escape from Afghanistan was by camel over the mountains, carrying her five small daughters with her. That's why I'm in shaking, and I remember all those days. I never forgot. And so now she's determined to help the next wave of immigrants, the ones arriving now into the Bay Area. Apparently, 60 families arrived last week, another 25 so far this week. They left the country with nothing but what they were wearing. And so we plan to provide everything for them. The Noor Islamic Cultural Center in Concord has 100 volunteers working around the clock. They're looking for everything from clothes and blankets to available housing. Tuesday, Congressman Marc Desaulniers joined them to discuss how to help. I think we have a moral obligation to make sure that every Afghan who wants to be relocated, uh, that we facilitate that. The concern for many here, those left behind in Afghanistan, particularly women and children, and whether there will be help for them too. We want to be the voice of those voiceless people. That's especially true for Mari Masumi. Her five daughters, grown now, are all highly educated, a doctor, lawyer, and diplomat among them. She hopes to be an example for the new families coming of what's possible here. Of course, that's, those things make me very strong. No, when you fall down, you, ha you should wake up. The community center isn't sure exactly how many families to expect or when to expect them, but they say they'll continue accepting donations for the foreseeable future. In Concord, Ann Rubin, KTVU Fox 2 News.